haul, but before I get started, I just want to thank all of my old subscribers. Thank you for hanging in there with me and sticking with me, and welcome to the channel if you are new stopping by for the first time. I'm so glad that you're here, and I sure hope that you stick around. I have friend mail to share with you today. It was actually my birthday last week and my sweet friend Paula sent me a birthday gift. Not one, not two, but three gifts. Oh my gosh. Thank you again, Paula, if you're watching and wait till you guys see what she sent me. Oh my gosh. I was just like in awe, in awe. I'm going to start with this really cute spoon. It's like a, a Sunday a length, you know, spoon. Um, or, you know, is it a Sunday or shake um, length? It's a long spoon. And um, it's engraved. And it says, friends like you make life sweet. And I love that. I told my husband, I'm just going to use this for my coffee in the morning. I just think that is so sweet. What a, what a nice gift. I just love it. So I'm going to set that there. And then she sent this beautiful plaque. It's a tabletop plaque. And it is, let's see. It doesn't say the name. She got it from Amazon, I am I'm sure. But it's, uh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful with the sunflowers? So pretty. A friend is one of the nicest things you can have and one of the nicest things you can be. Our friendship is a true blessing to me. Isn't that sweet? And uh, right back at you, Paula, I feel the exact same way about you. How beautiful. I am just going to probably just keep this up here, um, you know, just as my, my backdrop. Um, I just think that's so pretty. Yeah. Okay. Moving on to the, oh my goodness, wait till you see this. I love it. I've been waiting to use it. I didn't want to use it until I showed you all. Um, isn't that absolutely beautiful? Look at that. The colors are blue, the blue tones, my favorite color. A blessing, you are a blessing to so many people. I, in the butterfly, oh, isn't that absolutely beautiful? So I will be using this, uh, Paula, for sure. Um, yeah, I've been waiting. It's been sitting in my craft room, and I keep thinking every morning, I'm like, I can go use that cup, but oh, man. And then I love that, to the two-tone look, you know, with the color inside, and of course, it's blue. I love it. Okay, all right. Thanks again, Paula. I just love you, and I, what a, yeah, that was just so nice and generous of you. I just can't say enough. All right. Thank you, everyone, for allowing me to share that with you. And let's move on to this Dollar Tree haul. Now, I have an empty box here because I found these at the Dollar Tree. They're menstrual heat patches, but I am way too old to have a menstrual. <laughs> but I had the back of my calf was hurting me so bad. It's a little bit better today. And I used it on my calf, and it helped. It helped quite a bit. So it's just one of those heat patches you would use for, like, your shoulder or your neck. And you can get those at the Dollar Tree, too. But this is by Be Pure, and I just wanted to try it, and I, I will buy it again. Um, yeah, I liked it. it. It worked really well. And it got warm on both sides, the inside, you know, where you would um, tape it, and the outside. So that made it nice. Okay, picked up some uh, Crest Pro Health. I was so happy when I saw this floating around on YouTube because this is what we use at home anyway, is the Pro Health. This is the Clean Mint, and um, yeah, I picked up two of them because they're a lot more at Walmart. So I think, and these are the 2.8 ounce. And let's see, anything else? Oh yes, I found the Zest indulgence and this is the uh, lush orchid and almond oil and man i can smell it through the box i just had to try it you know dollar tree is a great way to um, buy these little sizes that way you know you know if you want to invest into a bigger box you know at the um main you know the walmart or wherever you shop target um 
But yeah, it smells really good and I can't wait to try it. I, I'm, I'm just, no, I, I'll open it later. I wanted to smell, get a really good smell. I can smell it, but it's like, I know it's a lot stronger if I would open the box, but I'm just going to move on. <laughs> Sticking with uh, Health and Beauty, I found the Cure Ad. I was, oh gosh, I went back and got two more boxes. So I have three boxes in total. You get 60 bandages and they're all the same size. How many times have you guys bought a, a box of Band-Aids and didn't really read the fine print and you get like five regular size Band-Aids, 50 small Band-Aids that don't fit on your finger, and then the tiniest, tiniest, I mean, makes you wonder, if you need that tiny of a Band-Aid, do you really need a Band-Aid? <laughs> Just saying, okay? Just saying. I never use, I no, I won't say never. I use those tiny band-aids in a pinch if I don't have anything else. I mean, then I'm layering the band-aid, you know, across each other just to cover uh, my cut or whatever. But those little tiny band-aids crack me up. I guess they're good for little kids, but yeah. I, I'm, anyway, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked. You get 60 and they're all the same size. I love it and it's Curad and they stick really well. Um, so yeah, I went and got two more boxes and now I'm stocked up on the Band-Aids. Because I've got to tell you, Band-Aids at Walmart, uh, the Equate uh, brand is anywhere from what? $2.25 and up and you don't get very many Band-Aids in it. And so for a brand named Curad, I was happy to find 60 Band-Aids in a box. I know, I'm ranting. Okay, moving on, I'm gonna stick with Health and Beauty. I finally found these. I saw these first on Paula's channel, Paula's MJ's Place. If you have not uh, visited her, please go do so. Tell her I said hi. You're gonna love her channel. She does Dollar Tree hauls and she shows you some of her DIYs that she makes and they're awesome, let me tell you. Um, so I, I did buy three. I got two blue and one pink because I thought maybe my husband might want one. They are USB chargeable. Okay, they come with this little USB charge. You can probably charge this with your, uh, your computer. So I thought that's what he could do at work. But, oh gosh, check this out, you guys. Oh man, oh man, that feels so good, you guys. And imagine that on a really hot day your house is stuffy. He works in um, a hangar, so they have um, swamp coolers. Um, so on a really swampy day, you know, it's hard for them to get cool, but this will be really nice for him to sit next to his desk. And it does kind of help his breathing a little bit. Um, so yeah, if you have breathing problems, Paula, maybe try this uh, mister, you know, in your face. It might help a little bit because he told me that it does help your breathing. So win-win uh, right and look at how beautiful that is and when it's dark when it's darker it just glows I just love it so I thought that was awesome for $1.25 and these were um in the Mother's Day um items you know the little display that they have uh, for Mother's Day $1.25 you guys and it look at that so well I wanted to show you how it works so did I open one let me see um, so what you do is you charge it, of course, and then you fill this up with water, you turn this upside down, you clamp it together, um, and then you turn it over. So isn't that neat? So I, last night uh, I tried it and I just emptied it and just let it set it on the counter to dry and ready to use um, next time. So yeah, I just think these are great for $1.25. I, I really do. So yeah. Anyway, moving on, right? Moving on, Laura, moving on. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm sitting here looking at these flowers. I got something in my eye. And <clears throat> I saw, again, Paula found these at her store, and I was just like, oh, man, I have got to find those. I do believe they had something similar to these, I want to say a year ago, but... I never found them, so I never really got a close-up of what they look like, but I just think these are gorgeous. They're going to be so fun to craft with. I did get three of these. Burlap flowers. They, you know, I there, I got nine. You get three in a pack. I've got nine flowers to work with. I just think they're so pretty. Um, yeah, so 
I'm glad they finally either came back or a new new style, but I don't care. And you get 12 of these uh, burlap flowers. Now these are just flat, but they have bling in the center there. Little diamonds. Aren't those pretty? So I only got one pack of these because I just feel like I would use those uh, more. So I just got those to keep on hand because you never know. All right. And then sticking with the crafters square. Are these crafters? Crafter Square. Oh, these are not Crafter Square. Okay. They were in the craft aisle. These are Birch and Vine. Oh, I just saw this online somewhere. Birch and Vine, where value and style meet. Okay. Distributed by Greenbrier. So it is Greenbrier, but it's maybe a new line. Birch and Vine. Okay. I just rhymed. Okay. Moving on. Uh, clear stamps by Crafter Square. I found the alphabet and the numbers. I thought that was awesome. Now, I've, I think I've told you before, I don't really stamp a whole lot. I'm not uh, a paper crafter per se, but you can use these in your regular crafting. But man, as many stamps as I've been accumulating, I just might uh, start paper crafting. Um, if you guys have not checked out Gina Loves to Craft, Go check her out. She does amazing hauls, and um, sometimes she does her uh, shares what she makes. And man, beautiful cards, just beautiful. Okay, I found this clear stamp with um, just a bunch of different designs on here. Um, let's see. There's some vines, and then there's some wording on here, but I can't really, I can't really make out what it's saying. Um, but then there's um, like a beehive or honeycomb and just a, some different designs there. I thought that was really neat. So I did get that one. I also got this one, um, calendar, uh, you know, planner kind of thing. So that's what that one looks like. It's got the days of the week and the months. Um, there's only six there. I guess you can reuse them. There's seven. Anyway. Okay. There's those. And was that it? I thought I got more clear stamps. Well, I guess that was it in this haul. <laughs> All right. Sticking again with Crafter Square. I finally found the glass beads and the little cute little jars there. And so I got the purple tones and then the pink and red. I just thought that was really neat. Again, these were floating around for a really long time. I think it was Sadie over at um, uh, Sweet Sadie J's TV. She hauled these, gosh, a long time ago, and they just never came to my store until the other day. <laughs> um, in the Mother's Day section, I saw these flower bath salts. Uh, let's see. One is lavender, and one is rose scented. I don't take baths. Um, I will use this to soak my feet, but I got them for the containers because I have an idea for these containers uh, to craft with. So that's what I got these for. And yeah, you get a bath soak or a, or a foot soak out of it. So that's what I got those for. Um, I also got these by Bolero, the Bath Fizzers Peach. I love the scented peach. I have um, the hand wax, the peach, uh, scent. And then I also have the cuticle oil and peach scent. I just love it for my hands and feet. So I did get this to soak my feet. I got two of them and these I actually found in the, um, you know, like the, the novelty, the fun, uh, novelty fun aisle, you know, where they have all the, you know, the cute little, novelties <laughs> i guess i'm gonna have to look at the sign and see exactly what that is called but anyway it's eluding me right now um i finally found the sure fresh reusable small baggies you get two of them here and these are the peach and the lemon um design and i just thought these looked really really nice i've seen these on lots of different channels and yeah i did find them the the check your the um, cashier there was like, oh, wow, these are really nice. And yeah, they seem to, you know, be nice quality. I hope they don't leak. I also picked up the watermelon. 
of course, you know I got the watermelon, so I did pick up that as well. Okay, moving on. I picked up these beautiful, beautiful candles. I wanted to open this up and actually get a good idea of the print on here because it's hard to tell with this plastic on here. And I did get three because I just got a set of um, candle sticks and I needed candles for them. So I thought, okay, well, let me try. Gosh, it is so hard to see. It is in the Living Shore section. At least that's where I saw mine. But they just look like little swirls. Um, really, really pretty. Let me go get grab the candle. So here's the candlesticks. There's um, this size, this size, and then a bigger size. I only grabbed these two. I think these are a little too small. I mean, it'll work, but um, yeah, maybe, maybe if I put two together or something. I don't know. No, I guess that would be okay. So I did get three for that. So that will work. I think it's okay. You could actually put a bigger candle in there, but it is what it is. So I'm just going to set that over here. So yeah, got three candles. And again, it doesn't say um, Shore Living, but that's where I found mine. So I don't know. All right, moving on. I did find some Hot Wheels. I did give my grandson some. They had amazing Hot Wheels out. I mean, a whole ton of them. And they were shaped like um, Legos. You know, Legos made into cars, which I thought was amazing. But for my littlest grandson, I got this one. This is the um, Shy Sky Show. And it's that airplane there. He's going to love it. He's so funny. Um, when he talks to my hummingbirds, he'll say, Hi, little birdie. Hi, little birdie. And then when he's playing with his car, he says, Truck. <laughs> he's just got that that sweet voice, but that rough voice. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, anyway, uh, this one is the HW Screen Time. So that's what that looks like. So, and he just... He just checks them out. He looks at them, and he's really he really is um, engulfed in looking at um, Hot Wheels and and trucks and cars and whatnot. So he's gonna love that. All right, in the stationery section, I found well, get off me um, this cute little tablet of paper, and I just thought it was so cute. It's got the fruit. It's got cherries, strawberries, a heart, and it looks like a flower. So all these in the front, they have in the little corner, or they put in the little corner here. And I just thought that was really, really cute. It's a small tablet for $1.25, but I just, uh, it got me. <laughs> uh, and then this one, my God is my rock in whom I take ref refuge, Psalms 18.2. And I just love that as well. And it also has... Um, the same, oh, different scriptures up at the top here. And this is by Crown Jewels. It's a woman-owned um, company. So I did get this one as well. They both just, I don't know, they were calling me that day. And then by uh, Jot, I found the gel pens. I have seen these floating around as well. And I thought, okay, let me give them a try. They had them, so I grabbed them because they didn't look like they had a whole lot. So, yeah. I think these are going to be nice. All right. And my last find, this was a wish list item. Oh, no. A couple more things. Sorry. But this was a wish list item. It's the washing machine cleaner. I had seen this for quite a while floating around um, the Dollar Tree hauls on YouTube. But I thought, you know what? I bet you it does work good. And you get three pouches in here. So you get three. And I got three boxes because, yeah, if it works... Wow, that is way less expensive than the Tide. <laughs> All right, now, I meant to keep the package, but I didn't. But there's two salted caramels floating around the Dollar Tree. Now, this is the Sanders brand. And I was, I passed this up because I kept getting it mixed up with the Palmer's brand. Palmer's chocolate is okay. It's not the best to me, just my opinion. So I thought, then I looked uh, a closer and it said Sanders. And I thought, oh, yum. Uh, let me give this a try. It's the sea salt caramels. And this is a 2.5 ounce. And the other one that I'm talking about was uh, 
Hold on. Okay, so this is by Landmark Confections, and this is Greenbrier, okay? It's distributed by Greenbrier. These are the peanut clusters. I got these for my husband. We have not tried these yet, but the same brand, Landmark Confections, had the salted caramels. They were delicious. I ate the whole bag. I, they were so good, and they were only a, a three-ounce bag. The, this is a four ounce bag, probably because of the peanuts, but it was a three ounce bag. This is a 2.5 ounce bag, but these seemed so much heavier than the Landmark brand. So I don't know. I even asked my husband which one's heavier, and he said this one. But I don't know if they weighed them wrong or what, but it is what it is. And these are good, too. I had bought two bags of these, and yes, I did. I did. I ate them. But I liked the Greenbrier brand better. They were they're so good. I recommend them. If you like salted caramels, I think you're going to like them. So yeah. Oh goodness. Dangerously good is all I can say. And then by charms, I did pick up two bags of these. I've been um, giving them to the grandkids when they come over. Watermelon lollipops by charms and you get 15 of them. So you can't beat that. So, and is there expiration? I don't see an expiration. So anyway, and that is it, you guys. That is it for my Dollar Tree haul. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you saw something that um, you were going to go look for at your Dollar Tree. And Paula, thanks again. Thanks again. I love everything that you sent. And um, I had a great birthday. All right, everybody. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.